Yo, what's up, guys? I'm going to show you how to do the Can Can X Summers reverse reverb vocal effect. So. Let's do it. All right. So first, you're going to make a recording. Um, so in one. Um, yeah. Click that. Do this. Um, and so when you record to do this effect, you're going to like breathe in and breathe out kind of like this. Like some fucking weird shit like that, like, yeah, I'll just show you. So, record something like that. Alright, so we recorded that. You're gonna double click on it, put it to your track one or wherever you put your normal vocal presets that you put on your main vocals in your fucking song. Now throw that on there, just like I did. Um so once you do that, find what whatever reverb you use, just drown that bitch. Um just drown that bitch. Um fruity control burn for reverb is drown it pretty much. So once you do that, um Go up to this thing right here, click it, click channel settings, go here. Uh, since this is pretty small, I'm just normalize it anyway. Click edit. Um, once you're in edit, go up to here. That's uh, Edison's reverb. Um, and you're gonna put wet all the way up and dry all the way down. And press accept. Okay. Then you're gonna go click this. Um, and so that's produce it right here. Normalize. You can delete this. Um, double click. Reverse. And we are done. Um, once you click that thing in Edison, you're just going to have to realign it with whatever you need it in your song. But, you know, and you can just chop it up with the slice tip if you want to put it after like a certain line in your song. That's what I did. Um, so this is what it sounds like. Sounds pretty dope. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> you're welcome, fuckers. Um, and also link where I got that vocal preset from. It's from some guy on YouTube, and like, heroin sick or some shit. Um, uh, peace.